In the four, he's on the inside line, just to his outside in the number 18. Kyle Busch from Las Vegas. Round two of the playoffs is underway. Big push from Chase Elliott has Harvick getting ready for the restart. Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch making up row one. We'll see if that track position Kyle Busch got off of pit road is going to help him. Three wide. Joey Logano goes to block all the way down to the bottom of the racetrack. Martin Trex Jr. loses momentum. Look at those cars on the bottom. The 22 pushing the 11. Will that be enough to clear the 18 car? It is. Denny Hamlin out front. As they fight through three and four, Denny Hamlin doesn't need a fight. He wins the stage. That's his ninth stage win of 2020. And is that an exclamation point on those people saying, were you distracted because of the announcement of you and Michael Jordan starting a team? I think it was, I could still win. Field approaching the Geico restart zone. Again, Kyle Busch on the outside. Joey Logano on the inside. Plenty of space between the top four. Kyle Busch trying to clear that 22 as they go through one and two. But here comes Logano working back on the bottom of the racetrack. And now has a little momentum and help. Not organized on the outside just yet. And inside, got a little push going. Sends Logano out into the lead. These cars look like they are not fun to ride through those bumps. We'll see Here comes Hamlin wide. for the lead. Oh, oh, wide. The 18 slides up, hits a 22. Hamlin takes the lead. And here comes Chase Elliott following into second. Big tire, tire rub. Yeah. Big tire rub on the 22. Yeah, and Sputter TJ Majors at first thought maybe they didn't need to come to pit road because the smoke wasn't as bad as we initially saw. It was Joey who made the decision, said there's smoke coming inside here. So they said left side tires only and fix that damage, get rid of the tire rub. So a two tires stop there for the 22. get a different gun that's why the slow stop for them that's 12 stop is underway the two of brad keselowski also coming to pit road they've certainly gotten this car a lot better after being mired back in about 20th he finally worked his way up just outside the top 10 you see though they're going to make another chassis adjustment right there brad struggling to run the right line that he wants to on track so they're making some adjustments to help him out there Logano on pit road, Kelly. I remember he went a lap down after he had to pit for two tires after contact with the 18. It's another track bar adjustment for Joey Logano, so they continue to work on this 22. Sometimes this is the best reinforcement. If you assume something's going to happen, well, let's just see what happens to the six of Ryan Newman. So he's going to take four tires, and we'll be able to see where he blends back on the racetrack. Big change there, too. Tyler Reddick slow on the racetrack. An issue with the eight once again. Our next is going to be after the four. Trying to get down. 
And this will be stage win for Chase Elliott. Three of the four stages in 2020 from Las Vegas have been won by Chase Elliott. He won the two stages in the first race here in the spring. Field coming up to the Geico restart zone. Denny Hamlin, Alex Bowman, Chase Elliott, Martin Shrex Jr., Ryan Blaney, the top five. And it looks like Chase Elliott once again getting into the back bumper of the car in front of him. This time it's Denny Hamlin. He gives him a shove. And Hamlin clears the 88 of Bowman as they go into one. Ready for the restart. Denny Hamlin on the high side. Mark Trex Jr. on the low side. Green flag back in the air. Two JGR cars fighting it out up front for the lead. Where's the push going to come from from behind? Who is going to get the most help? Oh, Chase Elliott to the middle. Four wide, Mart or Matt De Benedetto to the inside made it four wide as they go into three. The other call by Adam Stevens and Rodney Childers to come here. They're kind of in the back half of the top ten. So the theory with 36 to go, as you mentioned, Steve, get that fresh Goodyear rubber on now. See if he can gain some track time. Kyle Busch said he was running the top of the track. Felt like he was hurting the right front. Harvick said the car was better, but still too tight, Kelly. Coming in the 88, comes to pit road. He felt like he was a little bit too free, needed more security to run up high, but they're still convinced this track is going to come around as the temperatures go down, Marty. Has run that much of much of that run in the fourth position. Said the car was too tight for him. Going to be four fresh Goodyear tires and an air pressure adjustment, trying to free him up. 35 to go. What might be the last stop here of the night in Vegas? And we're getting ready for the restart. There'll be 25 laps to go from Las Vegas. Matt De Benedetto, Kurt Busch, firing off. Look at him back there. All of them looking for an advantage. Fanning out. Three and four wide. Four wide through one. Alex Bowman on the high side getting a push from Denny Hamlin back there. Four wide off of two. I'm going to tell you, the driver that did the best job of getting through that is that 12 car on the outside lane. This battle for the lead. Think about this. Kurt Bush. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Bowman as they split right in John front of Hunter the 38. Nemechek. John Hunter Nemechek spins, the caution comes out, up the racetrack he goes, there was contact up against the wall, cars trying to avoid. It looked like Ricky Stenhouse Jr. got sandwiched by another car. Eric Jones, I think. Oh yeah, heavy damage on the 47. Oh, that is not the caution. Kurt Busch. Go to the bottom here, a lot of smoke, get on the apron. When he left this call up to him, you see what they do there, leaving pit road. Kevin Harvick further up pit road. Gabehart told Hamlin, if you can get a good restart, stay. If you feel like you need help, come down pit road. Hamlin came down pit road and brought everybody behind him down pit road as well. Coming up on 12 laps to go from Vegas. Kurt Busch on the outside. Matt DiBenedetto on the inside. Back up through the gears they go. Kurt Busch with an incredible launch. Look how he absolutely cleared Matty D before he got to turn one. Great job by Kurt. The question is, does he have as much speed as Alex Bowman? Well, there's a lot of hunger back behind him. And oh, oh bad the wall. wall I bet that Christopher Bell in the 95. Keselowski gets by him. Yeah, that was a hard lick. He's going to be able to help him clear right here. He's going to be clear of that 12 car. Oh, we got to spin the 24. William Byron down the front straightaway. Big contact with the right front headlight. Oh, the right side. He's gotten in the fence. Yeah, right front flat, heavy damage. You mentioned the right front fender. And another restart. And outside lane with no organization with the 88 and the 11 losing spots. Look at the push, though. Oh, the 12 got separated when the 88 got to the right rear of the 12. It separated him from the 21, so Here he no longer could push. Here comes Denny with a big push. He's going to push this 88 all the way down the back straightaway. Oh. Bowman, why did Bowman not go to the inside there? There was nowhere to go for Bowman, and now Denny Hamlin fighting for second to the inside of the 21. They're side One by lap side. to go. How aggressive will they be through the final turns? De Benedetto in second. He drifts up the track a bit. Kurt Busch, the 2004 Cup champion, is going to win in his hometown. Busch wins in Vegas. Kurt Busch. Good job, man. 
Good job, man.